Hello guys, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club. How are you guys all doing today? And in today's video, we are going to talk about... USB wall adapters. Okay. Now what is a USB wall adapter? Well, a USB wall adapter is an adapter that you plug into a wall circuit that you plug in to a electrical circuit, a power strip. You can plug it into a power strip uh, or you can, you know, a wall adapter. Something that you can plug into the wall for less, that gets electricity. That's what a wall adapter is. What do we use wall adapters for? Well, we use wall adapters for charging cell phones. We use wall adapters to charge phones, tablets, but we use wall adapters nowadays for more than just charging cell phones and tablets. We use wall adapters for the Amazon Echo. We use wall adapters for the Fire Sticks. We use wall adapters for the Google Chromecast. We use wall adapters for the Roku. We use different wall adapters and USB. Now most devices, all devices I talk about but iPhones are using a micro USB which a micro USB looks like this. That's how to get power to my Amazon Echo is using a micro USB cord. Now even if your device goes, you train on your phone, doesn't mean that a cord is broken or anything. PlayStation 4 controllers uses micro USBs. Everything is using micro USBs nowadays. But sometimes to charge your device, they use wall adapters. Now Wall, now, wall adapters has different volts. There are different kind of wall adapters out there. Why is this video important? Because I want to give you the information so you guys don't blow up your devices. Your, your devices. You don't blow up. If you put in an iPhone into an iPad charger, you could potentially blow up your device. It could happen. So today's video I'm going to talk about the different wall adapters that we have for what device. Now I have tons of them, but these are the wall adapters I'm going to talk. Now I have wall adapters from Apple. I have wall adapters from Samsung. And I also have wall adapters from Amazon as well. A lot of these wall adapters are used for all kinds of different devices. Now let's talk about going from phone, we're going to talk about phone wall adapters, going up to tablets, and to your streaming devices. A lot of streaming devices are using wall adapters and micro USBs. There's only one streaming device that doesn't, that uses a power strip, that uses a power strip because they need more power. Now, a power strip from a wall adapter is going to give you more power than the wall adapter, okay? Wall, wall USB adapters will go all the way up to 9 volts. That the top focus for one of these one of these bad boys. Pro focus is the top for a USB wall adapter. So 12 volts is the top max for one of these bad boys. Higher you go, higher you go. You can get power strips to power up your devices. This is a power strip which in case this is mostly used for all computer devices, all towers, all standard TVs are using, this is called a 16 volt power cord. 
16 volts, 16 volt, has a power lot. These things are used in your towers and also your monitors. That computer monitor is using one of these 16 volt plugs, power strip. This is called a power strip. 16 volt power strips. Most older TVs. Now, sometimes the power supply, the power strip, is built into a TV. Sometimes they're at this TV, yeah, some of them are. Some newer devices are because they have a custom one for their TV. But if you have an older TV that doesn't have a power strip built in, you will have, most likely, there will be a 16 volt power supply. Power, power cord, power, right? These things are called power strips, power cords. These are called power strips. The thing that I have over here, which I can unplug, you can also have these. These things are called power strips. Did did I see see the Patriots won the Super Bowl? The Patriots did win the Super Bowl, man. These are called power strips. This is called a power Cord. Power strip, power cord. Power cord can go into a power strip. You can have multiple of these. Okay. This is called a 16 volt power strip. Your laptop is using a 12 volt. Has a three. Smaller 12 volt. Let's talk that charges a battery. Now let's talk about USB adapters, USB wall adapters. Okay, I'm going to talk about the iPhones first. This wall adapter has been shipped in all iPhone devices from the first iPhone in 2007 until the last one. These, this thing has never changed. The cord might change. The cord could change from they all iPhone 4s by below uses that little that long thing and iPhone 5, 6 and 7 are using lightning but they all come in with that this device now this power outlet here is a 1 volt this is a 1 volt the reason why your devices are using a 1 volt is because your battery and your phones are not as big as a battery in your laptop. A battery in your laptop or something like that. A battery in your laptop or something like that. Okay? If you have a higher voltage, let's say I plug this in and I plug my phone into a 9 volt, you can blow up the battery. You can blow up devices. You can blow up your devices by not plugging into a correct adapter. Now, all iPhone devices should always be using a 1 volt plug. 1 volt. Okay? All of them. Now this device that I'm going to talk about here, this is a 2 volt. This is double the volts, double the power is coming out of it. This thing charges all iPad devices. Now, iPads has a bigger battery because they have to power more stuff in there. A bigger screen has to power more stuff. So this is a 2 volts. Now, if you plug in your iPhone to this 2 volt iPad charger, I'm not saying that it will happen, but you have a chance that your iPhone can blow up if you plug it in. That's why it's always safe to use a one, one volt charger on all your devices. Now if you don't know, it writes it right down on here so there's no excuses. That's for iPhone. Okay, and iPads. When you go into Samsung phones, it's kind of a different story. I'm going to talk about the charger that all Samsung devices 
S1s, S2s, S3s, and S4s all ships in. All iPhone device, all Samsung Galaxies and Galaxy Notes, all Samsung and Galaxy Notes up to four uses a one volt plug like this. This is the one that came in the pack. This is a one volt. You plug this into the wall or power strip and power up right here. It's using all this capability. Okay. When the Note 5 and this Galaxy S5 came out, they came out with a different plug. They came out with a 1 volt plug. They came out, well, actually, the, my bad. The Note 5 did use this. Well, no. The Note 5 did not. Alright. The Samsung Galaxy S5 has a different kind of plug. It shipped in like this. Okay? There's no difference in that. They shipped in a different cord. A, a cord had a double micro USB. And that cord helped your phone to charge quicker. It helped your phone to be charged very quicker. Very quicker. But same. When the Note 5 and the S6 and the S when the S6 came out and the Note 5 came out, they scratched that out. They brought back the single micro USB, but they came out with a fast charging cord. This is a fast charging wall adapter. This is a fast charging wall adapter. Said fast charger. Technology was out there. Okay? Fast charging capabilities is a feature that is in your phone. Now you can turn off the phone. What that does is when you you have to have the wall adapter. They said, alright, we can bring back the micro USB back, but that's that's came out with a different wall adapter. They did. Now if you put an iPhone into one of these this thing, you could possibility, maybe, you could, very slim, I think it's about 10% no, chance. Shut up, all I hear is you talking. I'm doing a video. You could blow up your device by if you plug it into this Samsung Fast Charger. Now, the ben not the benefit from using, having a fast charger, is when you have a fast charger, it charges battery quicker, so the faster your battery gets charged, harder it gets. So your phone will get hotter. The battery will get hotter. Your phone will get hotter. If you don't want that capability, you can shut that off. But the capability is on fast charging. Now, devices, devices that don't have a battery but needs to be powered up. Devices that don't have a battery that needs to be powered up also have cords. My wall, my, my smartwatch charger comes in a USB but needs to be plugged in and it can be plugged in to a wall adapter. Now, I recommend using a 1 volt for this. When you have the device, a smart watch normally gets charged through a 1 volt device. Or you can charge it up through the PlayStation or whatever. Use a 1, one volt. Devices like my water speakers are also a USB power. They don't have a battery. But they have to be powered. They are called USB powered. Devices have to be powered by a USB. A lot of these devices need to be powered through USB. Okay, this is called a USB charger. Plug in. I don't recommend plugging this into anything higher than a 2. We could blow it up, your device. 
So that's why I'm using a one volt USB. My water speakers on the hand, I'm also using a one volt. There don't need to be any, yes, you need to power them up. You need to use the speaker. I don't want the speaker to blow, so I use it. My Amazon Echo, um, my Amazon Echo and the Amazon Fire Stick first generation and second generation are using this device. Now, some kind of devices, Roku, Google Chromecast, all of them, they have to use a different. You're powering up. There's more power going to it. That thing using a lot. It has a built-in speaker connected to the internet. The Fire Stick has apps is running, processors running, all these kinds of things, and it needs to be powered up. But you don't want to use a one volt. You can, but if you do, you won't use that much. It'll be slower. So they come out with a nine volt. You'll be using a nine volt USB devices for your streaming devices and Echo. Your streaming devices needs to have more power. So you don't need a higher voltage device. Yeah, you put in another device, yeah, it will work, but it might not work as good as this because it doesn't have power. Each one of these USB wall adapters are using a different amount of power. This is using a different amount of power than this. This has nine as much power than this. This no. All devices are plugged in through a micro USB capability. It's very important to know what your voltage are for them. So you don't risk getting your devices yeah. blowed up. Gaming controllers like the PS4 and Xbox One, I recommend using a one volt. It doesn't have a big battery as well. It doesn't have a big amount of battery. But I recommend using that if you want to plug it in. If you use it on the 9, you could risk blowing up your controller. Very important to know what you have. Now, these devices, I use these two devices, these two wall adapters. These two USB wall adapters are plugged into a power a a wall power strip these are plugs these are these are the things that powered up my smart watch charger and my water speaker I'm using a one volt the reason why I'm using one volt is because I don't want to blow them up so these two devices are using through this okay this is what I'm using for my cell phone charger because it's a fast charger. My phone can charge quicker. And this one came with my phone. And I know my phone has the capability of fast charging. So I use this one for that. It gets plugged in over there through a wall. A power strip. Okay. This is what powered up all my Amazon devices. The Fire Sticks, the Fire T and my Echo gets power through that. Now all my devices throughout the houses are all every single one of them are all plugged into a wall, a power strip strip or a power wall. The reason why they all like this is because this gives protection. When you lose power, when you lose power, 
you can rest when you lose power you can rest blowing up your devices if you have it directly plugged into the wall if I had my TV or my PlayStation plugged directly into a wall I can I can risk damaging blowing up my devices these are power, these are called power strips, but not this power strip, but they also call search protectors. These are search protectors too. These things will protect your device. These are search protectors. If you lose power and you have your device plugged into one of these things, you don't have to, your risk of blowing up the device is little to none. Once you plug it into the wall, it goes up, and it gives me more options to plug in. It takes like 30 minutes. Okay, it gives me options to plug in stuff. My room alone, I have I have four of these in my room. I have four of them in my room. I have three of them in my sister's room. You don't have three of them. And there's a couple of them. One of them I have plugged in the router, the modem, the router, the modem, the phone, the play TV, the cable box. All of them are plugged in through a power strip, through a power circuit, power protector. If I lose power, my risk of any of my devices blowing up goes down to none. Over here I have the printer, everything's hooked up. Very little to none. Devices are not cheap. When you have something blow up, it will be your responsibility to go out there and fix them. One of the things thing costs is $5. You can buy a twin pack right now at Walmart for $9.99. Get a twin pack. Spending $10 is cheaper than paying $9.99 for a new device. I recommend people using these and using the proper one of these for your devices. If you follow all my safeties and my guides on what to do, your risk of having something blow up will go down to none. Anyways, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club. Thank you for watching this video on USBs and power supplies. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.